Shalom, shalom. Man, Yom Rashan, Yom Day 1, Sunday, man. We getting back at it first day of the week. Busy day of work. Got the greenhouse good and finished. You know, uh, I'll cover these in another video, what I planted right here for the winter harvest, but let me show you the greenhouse. So we come in, like I said, I showed you, we got the vent at the top and it allow uh, a cross breeze to grow through. But uh, here we got everything in here, man. And um, harvested some basil this morning. Me and the wife came out here and harvested some basil and uh, got everything moved in here. We got tomatoes, bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, you know, everything in here. Got some stuff that the rabbits uh, was eating on and hopefully it will recover. You see it's still leaving. But let me show you this right here. This is the good thing. With the greenhouse, I was able to go by um, go by our feed store and they had some of these cattle panels, these hog panels, man. Eight foot for 16 bucks, they was on sale. And for these indeterminate uh, tomatoes, you can just use, let me show you what I got. Uh, I got these zip ties for gardening right here. And as these things grow up, you can prune them the way you want and ensure uh, you're not getting too much foliage and you can have all greenage, but these, um, I pretty much ran a beam across the top and just, uh, anchored it in on each rafter and then, uh, put a, put a screw in the side right there and hung this on there. So it's like a trellis system inside the greenhouse. And, um, yeah, man, went through the day. And hooked everything up, made sure everything was good. And everything is good and supported. Got this little one right here. It's not quite tall enough, but it's it's getting there. Um, this one back here, let me see. I don't think this one, I'm going to see is this. Uh, this one's determined, so it's not going to get too big. But um, last season, man, I was getting these things and really didn't look whether it was determined or indeterminate. Many things growing like wildfires. So definitely um, making sure that's good and support it because I was losing a lot of fruit due to it not being able to hang good. And I went through and pruned a lot of this greenage. I could do another round of pruning in here because it's some stuff that, uh, that yeah, doesn't need to be uh, on here because it's robbing the nutrients. But we see some good flowering going on. And these will be tomatoes. Everywhere you see these little flowers, man, will be tomatoes. We got some right there. Look at that. Some right there. All in there, man. And it's a nice, comfortable uh, temperature in here with the cross breeze. Show you this. Yep. And those are doing good. Some of them are already fruiting. And um, I'll show you the outside. Give you an outside look again. Pretty much took a, a lot of the stuff that was out of there. Uh, a lot of the old buckets and stuff that had dirt in it, that stuff had died. Man, I pretty much took uh, my wheelbarrow. I went and got some vermilion light and some pure light and uh, some uh, bone meal and mixed into the soil to rejuvenate, get it high in nitrogen again and make sure it's good and uh, it drains good. But let me show you this. This is the cool part right here. Okay, right here is I got my water tank and I've showed this before how I use these water tanks and uh, I got my fitting on here. So only thing I have left to do is I got this tank filled right here with a uh, cow mag. I cleaned it out, painted it, uh, went and got some, some gator lock. Uh, these are it right here, gator lock two and a half inch uh, flanges that go on these water totes, these obviously totes. Went to Lowe's, got some brass fittings. This uh, adapter hooks to a water hose. I have a timer right here and I'm gonna hook my timer on here. And every day, once I route the lining for the uh, irrigation in there, the drip irrigation will be good to go. But yeah, man, busy day at work. Started at uh, seven in the morning. Let me show you this back here. Back here, I got my, uh, what do you call it? This is like uh, gonna be like mulch and it's slowly gonna deteriorate stuff in there. Uh, from the from the chicken coop, all of the 
the poop in there, put that in there and that will slowly deteriorate. And then uh, right here, I got some old soil that if I need to put some perlite and, and feed it new, uh, nutrients, this right here is what I'm using. And I've had this soil for maybe two seasons. So I just have to rejuvenate it, uh, you know, every every season by putting some pyrolite, vermilolite, um, some different nutrients in there to make sure it's good uh, in the NPK. And um, yeah, I'm not buying any. If I can use what I have and just constantly uh, feed it nutrients, that's a lot cheaper than buying soil. But this is some of the prune clippings um, that we had from this morning. Water tank right here, got it sitting up on cinder blocks. So it will gravity feed, have enough pressure. And this one holds, uh, this is a 300, 300 gallon. This one holds 300 gallons. So this thing will, and I put a, um, I put about half a bottle of cow mag in there. Cow mag high in calcium help with the, um, the, the rooting, you know, make sure the, the plants are getting a constant, uh, getting their nutrients constantly getting fed because that's where the, where the start of the growth happens. And if the rooting system is very good, then you'll be very good at producing fruit and, um, switching throughout your different, whether it be your, your nitrogen, nitrogen, uh, your phosphorus or your phosphate. And you'll be good to go as you shift through them, constantly having that consistent cow mag. But um, I'm going to start feeding this thing um, more phosphorus and phosphorate to, to doggone get it to fruit more now that I've pruned it. But I uh, want to give everything a good minute to uh, to settle in and the plants to get uh, acclimated. And then it's only up from here, man. So just wanted to show you guys that. Got the greenhouse all done and uh spent the most of the afternoon doing this but i'll do this in another video man stay encouraged hope you guys have a blessed day out